hey guys welcome back to my channel today I want to make a video on the importance of preceptees taking accountability for their own learning so I have been a new nurse in a new setting a few times so you know when I first graduated and I went into long-term care last year when I was a new nurse going into the ICU which I felt completely like a new grad and they say that a lot like when you switch units or um, fields of nursing that you feel like a new grad all over again and then this year when I started my new job as a float nurse I totally felt brand new all over again so it what I've learned is just that it is so important to be accountable for your own learning because sometimes you're not going to get the best preceptors you're just not sometimes you're going to get preceptors who are only doing it because of that extra bump in pay um you're going to get some lazy ones you, and then you're going to get some who just have different learning styles than yours they learn a different way and so they feel like you would learn that way as well um and as a as an orientee as a preceptee you are on a limited time frame to learn everything you need to learn for that facility in order to be on your own and that facility and you you're basically telling them at the end of that orientation that I'm good to be on my own like I'm good to go and now you are going to be responsible for those patients for that patient load and now your license is on the on the line and your job is on the line so when you have that time to be covered by a preceptor take advantage of it take advantage of it i know that it is scary being brand new and and doing new stuff and you're like but i well, yeah, i never did it and i'm scared and i don't want to touch it and i don't want to break it down i want to mess the patient up i don't want to kill him you have to try you i could i definitely agree with watching you know a preceptor do it one or two times or whatever but you have to start using your own hands your own mind your own judgment and getting in there because sometimes these learning opportunities aren't gonna show back up again until after you're already off orientation so you want to take advantage of each and every opportunity that you have to learn something um, so yeah while you have a preceptor you guys should be sharing patient load so if you wanted to go off with another nurse and and do a procedure or see a procedure on another patient your patient should still be okay in order for you to do that um but yeah take advantage of that for me my big thing when i started this new job was i had not hung blood a lot and i never hung blood in my long-term care job and then in the icu i hung blood like once which is crazy you think in the icu you're hanging blood all the time but um no <laughs> like i worked in a cardiac icu and those people had like just had heart surgery and they were pretty stable they weren't really bleeding out so it was like one time that i had an opportunity to hang some blood um so that was my big thing when I started my job. I was like, I need to find people to get blood to because pretty soon this is this is gonna be just me. So my thing was like hanging blood and then doing admissions. At my old job in the ICU, we had something called an A team where there was team members who came in and admitted your patient and did the whole process. But here at my new job, we do it and it's a very lengthy process to admit someone in. And so I, wanted and i did look for opportunities to admit people and to hang blood um because i knew pretty soon i'm going to be on my own and i'm going to get a patient who's going to need to be admitted and it's going to be on me to do it and while there are other nurses around that can help you they're busy with their patient load as well you know and it's just going to put you behind you know trying to look for help you know when and, and now you're you're behind so so yeah you know and and then i also knew like you know i'm gonna have to hang blood soon on someone so i need to know the process i need to know what to do and I, I i need to know how to do this um so yeah that those were my my biggest things for me um 
so yeah that that's just my whole point of this video please preceptees i know you're scared but please take accountability for your learning because you will be on your own that time will fly by and then you're gonna be out there so at least while you have the privilege and the opportunity to have some coverage over you take those opportunities to learn please ask questions and if you are with a preceptor and it's just not working out you guys your her teaching style is just not going with your learning style just ask to be switched because again if you don't at the end they're going to assume that you know all this stuff and then boom there you go out there on your own and you're gonna you're gonna look bad you know if you're out there and you don't know what you're doing um, remember that the preceptor already knows what she's doing like or he like they they their job is good their jobs intact you know intact excuse me their jobs intact you're the one who don't know what you're doing you know so you know you work so hard for that license don't don't lose it you know um yeah let me see what else did i write i wrote a couple of a couple of nerds here um yeah the other thing is also try as soon as soon as you can to start trying to take like that full load on yourself because again it can be very tempting to call your preceptor to come uh, bail you out when you feel overwhelmed like you know you're running a little bit behind someone you're in a room trying to do a, an assessment on someone and then the other patients calling you know to use the bathroom another patient saying that they're in pain you got a family member on uh on hold for another patient like it can be very tempting to be like a hey, preceptor please like come bail me out but what i recommend is just trying as hard as you can to catch up my big thing is just calm down relax take it one thing at a time if nothing is like critical where your patient is going to die if you don't immediately go and do that hold off they can wait they can wait finish what you're doing and then go to the next most important thing and then check that off and then go to the next most important thing like yeah i know you want some ice water but you can wait period you can wait for your ice water i know you want a pain pill right now you can wait they can they can wait you know finish up what you're doing in that room make sure you leave your patient in a safe position before you leave them go handle that phone call with that family member go grab that person that pain pill go bring that person that water you know so you know just breathe relax and, and try as much as you can to handle your load on your own because again you're not going to have people to just bail you out like that you're just not you're not going to have it so try to uh learn how to deal with the stress and manage it and and do time management as much as you can while you're still covered so yeah guys i hope you like the video let me know if um you agree disagree if you have anything else to add your experiences as a orientee or if you're a preceptor if you ever done it like just um leave some comments all right so until next time bye guys